Hi there, I'm Kavita Sidhu and I'm very excited to welcome you all to the wonderful culinary world of Interflavor. Each week we'll invite a guest chef to showcase his gastronomic talents and introduce to you the varied cooking traditions of regions and countries around the world. My co-host Jit Murat will accompany our guest chefs on shopping excursions while entertaining you in his usual funny self and my other co-host, Feku, will give you handy tips on how to eat well. Now today, we're at the Avanti restaurant at the Sunway Lagoon Resort Hotel, where we're going to meet Chef Federico Micheletto, who is the maestro behind the wonderful Italian cuisine that is served at this restaurant. Hi, I'm sitting here with Chef Federico, and we're gonna have a little chit-chat. Yeah. Okay, Federico, you've been here for seven years in Malaysia, right? Okay. And you you are from Malaysia. Venice. Yeah. What made you want to come to Malaysia? Um, I came first for Alpa France, you know, Modesto, when he opened in Bangsar uh -huh. a few few years back, ninety seven, I think. Yeah. Right. And then I went up to Penang, mm -hmm. uh, down to Singapore, back again to Kuala Lumpur, and right. I'm still here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you were working as a chef in Italy before that. Yeah, yeah. I used to work in uh, some hotel nearby Venice there. I need to know, what made you want to be a chef? I mean, is it something that you've always wanted to be when you were a young kid or...? Uh, I think, well, um, like all the chefs, yeah, we actually don't know why, but we <laughs> are there. <laughs> you know, it's like you drop inside one kitchen and then you love it and you cannot leave it. What is it like to be a chef? I mean, what is your daily routine? To be a chef is like you wake up in the morning mm -hmm. and uh, you go to work mm -hmm. and you finish on the night. So it's a day, it's a, a totally day commitment to the kitchen, yeah? And at night as well, you work? And at night as well. It means like from 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning, maybe to 11 o'clock in the night. Okay. All the way around. Okay, Federico, would you like to explain to us um, what exactly you're going to be cooking for us today? Okay. Um, we will get this uh, braised codfish in red wine, uh -huh. served in some uh, lengthy ragu. Um, mm -hmm. On top, we put some cod liver, pan fry called liver, yeah, and they will be served with some wine sauce mm -hmm. together. And there is the texture between the lentil, the codfish and the liver, something to try. Okay. Is this your original creation? Uh, yeah, yeah, original creation. Okay. And there will be a rabi saddle, uh -huh. roasted, uh, served with some polenta patty and uh, some garlic uh, wine and some beef bacon and uh, mustard. Thank you so much, Federico. Okay, don't go away because Federico is going to take Jit shopping. Hi, I'm at Mr. Ho's in Bangsa Shopping Center, which is where Chef Federico sometimes picks up his ingredients. What's so special about Mr. Ho's? Okay, you have a lot of import items here. You have this extra virgin olive oil, right. some olive oil, this uh, mustard from France, right. beautiful one. So we'll be using polenta bergamasca uh, yeah, yeah. in our it's, dish. It's some corn, we're gonna do some pate, and we're gonna serve with some rabbit. Rabbit? Rabbit. Yeah, yeah, rabbit. Do they have rabbit here? Yeah, yeah it's just inside here. Just inside here. So, frozen rabbit. Frozen one. Take it out. Yeah, this is gonna be our main course. This part here. This, which, what is this part called? Uh, the saddle. The saddle. Yeah, the saddle of the rabbit. Don't see any ears. No, no, there's no ears. <laughs> While we look for some more ingredients, why don't we go and see what health tips Fei Ku has? The next time you're reaching for the sunflower seed or any other kind of cooking oil when you're cooking, do bear in mind that extra virgin olive oil, or just virgin olive oil, which consists predominantly of monounsaturated fatty acids, is virtually the healthiest oil of all. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but consider the benefits. It's virtually cholesterol-free and it tastes so much better. So if you think your bodies deserve it, start treating it a little bit better and make that switch to olive oil. Hi, we're back. I'm at the poolside here at the Sunway Lagoon Resort Hotel. And Jit's here with me. Hello. And Chef Federico. Hi. And we're going to start with our first cooking demonstration. 
Yeah, there's a dazzling array of colours in front of us here, Chef. Mm. Uh, would you care to explain what they are? Okay, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna do this um, poached uh, red wine codfish, served with lentil and uh, codfish liver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Federico, you mentioned that this was. Italian lentil. Yeah. How is that different from the dal that we know? You know, um, our, our local version. Okay. Yeah. This this lentil are a little bit flatter, yeah. If you if you see if you touch it, yeah. And uh, right. They are um, they are cooking uh, in longer times and not so easy to be mashy. Right. Oh, it's firmer. It's firm after okay. cook, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can get this quite easily in supermarkets. Yeah, you can get it easily. Oh, that's good. You have to, um, I'd say, to put water one day before. You have to soak in the water a day before. Uh, okay, Federico, shall we start? Yeah, okay. So, we start with the steel lentil, yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, you have your extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. Then you will put in your pan. So, you will put your garlic, your carrots, your celery. When you say extra virgin olive oil, yeah. are you referring to a type of olive that's different or the process that's different? No, it's the process, yeah. It's like uh, the first, uh, the first uh, when they press the first time, mm -hmm. is uh, where coming out the extra virgin olive oil. Right. So the more you process the oil, the less value it has. Yeah, exactly. Right. Oh. And extra virgin is the, the essence, the first yeah. run. Okay. The first one. So, okay, you will put the lentil inside, you will uh -huh. put some oregano. Okay. So, uh, make it more flavor, some salt of course, some pepper, <coughs> whatever is that. You will uh, put some white wine. Okay. Is there an option to that? Can you not use white wine? Yeah, yeah, you can. What happens to it? It tastes a bit different. Mm, yeah, it tastes a little bit different. A little bit different. Just a little bit. So after this, you will put your uh, rosemary and uh, thyme. You will chop it, yeah? Very fast chopping. Yeah. These uh, fresh herbs are available in KL anywhere? Uh, yeah, they're coming from Vietnam actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. not far. Yeah, it's very yeah. nearby. Federico can look at you in touch, you know? I know. You don't have to look at the board. I'd be like Yakuza amputee already by now. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, we had uh, the herbs inside. This uh, tomato sauce already prepared. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is that tomato puree? Would you say? Uh, you can buy the peeled tomato, it's also fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, we add some of this uh, chicken stock. Every kitchen has to have stock, right? Every kitchen. Oh. Every kitchen exactly right, that's chicken. what I've noticed. Chicken stock, vegetable stock, fish stock, all this kind of thing. Of course, you, I like to addition some fresh tomato, yeah? Why is that? Fresh tomato. Because oh, it's fresh. Because it's fresh, because mm. it's uh, more, uh, what's it, more natural, yeah? More real. I must say, these blanched tomatoes are so firm. Mm. Yeah. They're like a baby's bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the lentil that you will skew it yeah, for uh, 30 minutes, something like this. Slow fire. Um, you add your salt and pepper and seasoning will be according to your taste, right? It looks really healthy, yeah? Okay, so we are going to go to cook this uh, cod fish. Okay, so. Fry yeah, pan fry first with some vegetables mm -hmm. and uh, later we will put some wine inside and we will braise it. When the oil is so hot, it's so. Is that how you test it? <laughs> you don't put your finger there. <laughs> she would. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I know that at least. Okay, so the cut fish uh, will be... Uh, first, you always start with the skin. It's okay. the one that's taking more time and uh, you can make it more crispy. Okay, you add your vegetable. I didn't know that. You yeah. always burn the skin side first. Yeah, yeah. first the skin side always. Makes sense. You add your vegetables. And cod is the preferred fish for this, for this dish because it's fatty. Yeah. Right? Okay, so you pan fry your skin. Could be even more crispy, yeah, it doesn't matter, yeah. Table around that's uh, the steaming together. If you like, you can add some garlic too, but uh, it becomes a little bit heavy, yeah? Right. Yeah, a little bit heavy. So you can put your seasoning. Actually, white pepper is better for this for fish than black pepper. Right. It doesn't cover the taste. Right, right. It it's more, more subtle. Mm. Yeah. This cod already has a, a very strong flavor. Yeah, exactly. So some salt, whatever is that. 
then you re-addition on your red wine. Oh, a lot of red wine. Yeah, a lot. Definitely. The way you got this uh, processing of breezing, breezing of the codfish, yeah. So as you breathe, you see you become, the color outside will be more and more red, yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course you can addition some of your stock. Better if it's fish stock, yeah or water, whatever you like to. And more wine, yeah, this one is really... I think so. All the way wine, yeah? Okay, so, okay, the codfish have to be there for a few minutes, right? So, we're gonna go to take this, uh, this other thing, this, uh, this uh, liver. Okay, so this is the liver, as you say. It's a little bit girly, or whatever you want to call it. Is that so something the liver? Ah, uh, no, no, it's the That's normal the color, yeah. Yeah, so you put a little bit on the flour, just a little. You warm it up your hand. Of course, always oil. I don't like to use butter, yeah. You will find other chefs using butter, but uh, for me, it's, uh, yeah, sometimes. For health reasons. Yeah, for health reasons. There you go. There you go, your point. I don't think I've ever tried cod liver, have you? Never. No. Well, I, I know of cod liver oil yeah. and uh, those little capsules, but... Not much people use it there, you know? Yeah, not much people. Yeah. Yeah. You have to pan fry slowly, slowly, slowly. Maybe get its own texture later. Timing is essential for good cooking. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is the mouth fish liver. Oh, that's so nice now. You can add some wine if you like to, yeah. Mm. Mm, everything smells and looks divine, actually. Let's see what Frederico's done. Okay, so plenty of cooked, cut fish have been poached, and the cut liver have been uh, pan fried. Mm -hmm. So. You have to prepare the plates, right? What's that? It looks like jewelry. I thought it was a. <laughs> but this is a ring, cooking ring we use for do this kind of uh, plating things. Ah, oh. that's the secret. I've always wondered how you always make a high, yeah. high food. Yeah. There's a tower in the middle. Yeah. So the, the we put this uh, plantain. You press it for as much as you can. Take it out. Voila. Oh. Put the fish on top. We we'll put them liver. Amazing. Oh, beautiful. Then we uh, decorate it with some of this. So Fantastic. Yeah. So you will get this uh, three different flavor of uh, this bitterness of the liver, uh -huh. this sourish of the cup and the sweetness of the lentil. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're on to the next dish now. Uh, Chef Federico, would you like to show us what you're going to cook? Yeah, it will be a roast rabbit with uh, polenta. Wow. Roast rabbit with polenta. Now we know that uh, all Italian dishes come from specific regions, mm -hmm. different yeah. parts of Italy. Where's uh, the roast rabbit from? Uh, this, uh, the rabbit are from Italy, I don't know which region, yeah, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this uh, cooking method is from Venice. Oh. It used to be something that my mother used to do for me. Right, so you're a Buddha Venice. Your uh, kampong yeah, is Venice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like this. So, uh, Federico, what exactly is polenta? Uh, polenta is uh, corn. Blend corn and dry blend corn. And uh, actually, for make polenta, you need to cook it. The oh. After that, cold polenta. This one cold polenta first, then after cold right. polenta. So, you need some boiling water. Uh -huh. And you need add some uh, olive oil. Extra virgin? Extra virgin, of course. Of course. And uh, some bay leaf. Mm -hmm. uh, some salt. 
Uh, if you like some paper, just a little bit. And uh, with the whisk, you start to whisk a little bit and uh, add slowly this uh, polenta fat. You need to use a whisk. For this. You need to use a whisk. Why is that? Uh, or then you will become uh, with a lot of things inside, it will be not smoother. All oh, right. Okay. So this is uh, actually the the polenta one. You we add if it's too thick and you can add some water, wow, some look, stock. Look at it thicken. I know. Yeah. Um, it's actually we cook for five minutes, ten minutes. Right. It's pre cooked. If it's not pre cooked, it can cook about for half an hour more than that. So, but this is pre-cooked. This is pre-cooked. Okay. In Malaysia, they sell it already pre-cooked. Okay. Even in Italy, yeah, no more. Just last, last time. Okay, so the polenta will be cooked uh, for uh, another five minutes. Will become like a party. Yeah. Mm. One. Okay. The other side, we will take a pan. Yeah. For this uh, rabbit. So you will put the oil. You will uh, do this work to the garlic. So you make it. Uh, the flavor to go to the oil. Mm -hmm. I love and garlic. Yeah, you need a lot of garlic Whoa. in this dish. <laughs> and uh, okay, you take some rosemary, you break it on the oil, and we help a little bit. You put the rabbit a little bit on the flour. Oh, a lovely smell. Oh, wow, it's it's amazing. Yeah. Is um, rabbit a common item on the Italian menu? Quite common, quite yeah. common. Not of Italy, it's quite common, yeah. What about here though? Do you get a lot of customers uh, having the rabbit? Only for uh, European people, Australian people. Right. Malaysians, Some not Malay, really. Some Malay. Yeah. Some Malay as well. Do you have a reason why rabbit is your favorite meat? Yeah, because of uh, my mother, yeah. No, why, yeah. It's a childhood thing. Okay, so uh, after roast a little bit the loin of the rabbit, you will put some uh, some wine. Mm -hmm. Of course, this uh, is best if you have an oven to put inside. Oh, I see. Right. Cover it up and put inside the oven, yeah? That's Again. ideal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Again, can we use substitute the wine for something else? Yeah, yeah you can put any water that you like. Yeah. Put, yeah for stocks, okay. Like Federico, is there a reason why you tie up the rabbit? Yeah, I mean, it's not as if it's going to run away, you know? <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's more because uh, we tie up the uh, loin together with uh, a piece of uh, this, uh, this is the part that goes into the stomach, yeah? Yeah. So we keep it inside the fat, you see, there is some fat, so oh. it will be more moist, it will be not so hard. Gotcha, oh. gotcha. Then later on we will cut for long like this, then it will be very, very tender, more okay. tender than the normal rabbit, yeah? Something oh. like this. Fantastic. Yeah. When the rabbit is uh, almost medium well, not very well cooked, okay. Uh, you can start to prepare the plates, right? Okay. So you pour your polenta, be ready Shall now. Shall I play in the middle? No, 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 it's okay. You plate your polenta here. Nice bright yellow. Yeah. It's a bit like baby food. Set bunny free. Some more fresh herbs, but you 
just can be served like this, so nice so yeah. yeah. simple. Yeah. 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 You know what this is, right? Well, I was thinking about well, eating the cod, but I think this is fish. <laughs> this is cod. This is yeah. cod. There's cod liver and uh, lentil. Lentil, exactly. Italian, Italian lentil. Splendid. I'm going to start with the cod liver. Come on, guys. Jen, are you going to partake in some of this very, very, very big liver? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Unusual combination for fish. Yeah, it's not your standard sort of cod preparation, but it's a. Uh, I think the lentils really work, but you say uh, in Italy that they use lentils a lot with fish, right? Um, not really. I mean, some, some place, some place, some place. Some parts of Italy. Some parts of Italy. Huh? Okay, shall we try the next dish then? Are you ready? I'm ready. See no reason why not. Okay. Thank you. Oh, wow. That's the rabbit. Rabbit dish? Well, well there's nothing to do but tuck in. It smells absolutely divine. I've never tried rabbit before, rabbit meat, so really? yeah, I eat it first for me. I've got a whole farm of them, which is Monday it's fluffy, Tuesday it's snowy. It's nice, it's, um, it's very much like chicken, isn't it? Yeah, it's tender. It's very tender, it's lovely. I'm gonna go with it, with the garlic and the bacon and the mustard. Like it? Boy, what an explosion of flavor. Oh, Faye, did you know that this recipe is um, Federico's mother's recipe? Uh, so it's home cooking for him. Chef Federico, thank you so much for the amazing dishes. It's been absolutely delicious. It's, nice. it's been thank a privilege. A real privilege. We'll be Very back nice. for more. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the show. And we'll see you again next week with more great cuisine from all of us here at Interflavor. Bye.